Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we are live. Hey, you're all having a good time. <laughs> My schnitzel. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wait, I got to turn down that light. Make it a bit more romantic, you know what I mean here? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Wow. <laughs> oh, Andrew, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> hey, everyone. Good to see you all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. So for a second, I got scared. My live stream didn't want to start, so... <laughs> well, let me let me pull up the chat because I can't do it on my huh? Guess what? On my computer. Because so because I don't want to miss anyone saying hello. So I'm going to do that now. So. And I'm listening to myself. Okay. All right. Hi, Laurie. Victor, cool to see you here. Andrew, hi, du alte Bratwurst. Now look that up. <laughs> Experimental. Alex. And Sue. Pantazone. <laughs> Max, Laurie said, right? And Bear, hello. <laughs> so, well, really good to see you. <laughs> yeah, Alex, nothing can stop me. <laughs> Only myself. <laughs> Shannon, hello. Anna, <laughs> hello. Well, hello, everyone. I'm very happy to see Cynthia. Hello, Schwester. Well, Desert Rose and me have to tell you something, so but I leave it up to her. Yeah, and you'll see what I mean. I was very excited. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Yeah, I will. I may. I will make a winter solistic fire. But um, oh my God, is my internet breaking? I'm just saying because my Wi-Fi is not the best tonight. If this should go down, I will start another stream. Just saying. Hey, butterfly. So if I miss anyone, um, I say sorry in advance. You know how it is. I got to stick to the notes I make, or we all know I'm going to squirrel all over the universe. Judith. <laughs> so, um, today, hey, my guys. <laughs> yeah, now I'm frozen. Oh, no, I think I freeze once a while. I don't know. So, let's get the party going before I freeze. So... Today, I want to talk about the third rune in the Aetir. I mentioned the Aetir is a bit in the beginning, and um, since they need a little explanation as well, I'm going to do a little recording about them. So, um, because I just want to stick with one, with one room per show. So I'm going to do a recording about the Aetirs and load it up, and then you can listen to it exactly what they mean <coughs> I don't want to scroll <coughs> away I see I'm choking hey Josie so um so the AATS like I said I'm gonna do a recording explain exactly what they mean I know I talked in the beginning about them but 
you know, you got to get the groove going for that a bit. So um, the third rune, hey, planetary. <laughs> so I'm just saying if I miss someone, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, you know, keep it short. <laughs> that was a good one, I know. So um, the third rune in a A tier is the rune uh, Thurivas. And it means thorn, not Thor, thorn, but it goes together with Thor, just saying. Um, yeah, so, so how this rune got going, I want to, or let me put it this way. Here we go. I'm not reading notes. I'm squirreling. So this rune is very, very strong. I know I'm saying that with every rune, but that rune is um, uh, hold on, sorry, I just got a phone call. Sorry. was important. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, every rune is powerful, right? And I also mention always how important it is to treat them with respect and not for any weird business. Because if you try, you're going to hurt yourself. I'm just bringing that in again and again. So, but this is one of the, yeah very very powerful runes and the reason is i'm uh, telling you a little story about it um that i wrote down well i didn't write the story i just wrote it down just saying hi louis did i miss someone else sky laberto hey so okay um Okay, here goes the story. The primal giant is as old and wise as time itself. The grandfather of the giants was Ymir. The first gods killed this extremely vicious giant and created the world out of him. So this is the Nordic mythology of how a world was created. His eyes became sun and moon. From his skull, the sky tent was formed. His bones became the foundations of rocks and mountains. His blood is found in the salt of the oceans. Out of his body, they created the earth. And from his backbone, the connection between the realm of the goddess hail and the sky. To make everything grow in the lush of nature, they used his skin and hair. His wild heartbeat from now on deep in the earth in a sea of fire. His brain became clouds. In Thurizas, the power of the giant lives on. She is powerful, destructive, and full of energy. So, yeah, I know if we would still be in the Inquisition, I would so be out of luck. But that's you know how they believed the earth was created. So, um, and it just shows how powerful, strong this rune is in terms of it can destroy and it can build. So, but I'm getting to that now. Hi, James. Quads. Hello. So the rune gives you power. Everything you want will succeed. The power of giants and thunder accompan accompanies you. You should go to your destiny without hesitation. Your path does not have to be straight. He is determined anyway. We all know that, right? Choose your path and everyone 
will lead you to your very own goal. So just follow your intu intuition. Be brave, but also modest. Do not exploit the power, but use it for the better. Do not brag about what is given to you, but practice humility. Humility. Respect your spiritual abilities. Build, build and honor them. Never lose yourself out of sight. I thought that was very important to bring in tonight. Hey, Manic. How are you, girl? Yes, Desert Rose. That's what I mean, like the toyer. Uh, to toyer. Here we go, the toyer. It's next to the Fuckleberry tree, the tower. Yeah, it destroys and builds. And um, yeah, so I'm going a bit into it now more. So um, Thuridas uh, represents the thorn. So um, hey, sunshine. Um, Shannon, I had to bring the fuckleberry tree in. <laughs> um, like we know, thorn hedges, um, they can keep us away from things and they can also keep away things from us if we want to, right? So, and um, some of the plants or bushes that have thorns as natural protection, like to protect the fruits. Um, Schnitzel ruin. <laughs> Andrew. Um, so yeah, um, like plants and trees, like like I said, they have thorns to protect their fruit. So this is what we do could do sometimes, right? Protect what we know, protect what we own. Or if we want to keep stuff out that is not good for us. So, um, so Thor or Dona, depending on how he was called, Germanic or in the north, Dona is for thunder. It's a German word, Donna. So that's where it comes from. So they were also uh, responsible for the Adri. Culture, and I said that's all wrong, but you know what I mean for the farmers. So, but this runes, this rune also calls for letting go of the old and for confronting owns reflection. So, because sometimes we put up this build, big wall, right? And not only that we let block everything out, we can't let anything in, we can't let anything out. We can really deal with issues because we're in behind this nice little thorn bush, all comfy, but nothing will get in or nothing will get out. So either way. Um, so um, like I said, it's a rune of extremes. So be cautious when you work with it. So the rune is assigned to both to Thor and the giant. And it represents like the eternal fights between gods and giants. So um, both have destructive or protective forces, right? So it's kind of, I could call it almost bipolar energies, but they form a unit. So the lesson of the ruin is from bad experience, one becomes wise. And we all know that too well, don't we? We all have had situations where we're like, yep, that's not going to happen again. And, and it can be the beginning of a positive turnaround, a new way, you know, that you pave yourself. So the rune helps you if you pull that rune. Um, it can help you in a constructive way um, or show you a path for new beginnings, knowledge, discipline, 
focus, inner strength, overcoming obstacles, readiness for conflict, um, active protection or combating like if you're being threatened. So this, just a few points I wrote down that I found important. There are many more, but those were the ones that I found the most important. So in a destructive way, if you have it uh, with a head down, even though there is no really head down with Furizas, but it can also give you warnings, right? The warnings. Um, it can bring you bad news. Um, it can warn you of chaos. It could be showing you destruct destructive energies, hatred, helplessness, and threats. But they're all coming from you inside. So I'm not saying bad luck coming from the insides or threats. This could be you just doing things not the right way. It could be a warning about other situations, other people as well. But first, always start, you know, scanning yourself, confronting, mirroring yourself. So, um, yeah, like I said before, hi, Mary. Runes are very honest. They will not tell you what you like to hear. They will tell you what you need to hear. And I will think, I will say that with every every rune I'm talking about because it's the truth. It will point you out if you act like a dick, it will point it out to you. Um, if you have people around you that are not good for you, it will point it out for you. It will literally, the runes will tell you what is good and what you should change. And so be always prepared when you work with runes. Um, in a magical way, the magic can... Hey, Glenna Maureen. Hello. <laughs> Johan. I can't talk. <laughs> um, in a magical way, uh, the rune can play, break blockages, barriers, or other forms of resistance that hinder you on your path. You know, that will help you to open up that thorn bush that you created yourself. Um, there's more to the magic powers, but I don't really want to say that yet, to be honest. Um, yeah. We do that another times. So one, one. I'm, I'm. Once I'm through with it, and everybody can share experience with me with what they, you know. If you started working with them, then I will go deeper into the magical part. But for now, start. Like I said before, start meditating on the rune. If you pull a rune, start meditating on it. Or even for now, practice maybe with the ones that I talked about. You know, draw it even on a piece of paper and meditate on it and just see what mess message it gives to you. And also, like, don't try to do healing work with it yet. So, um, like, really only if you're experienced with runes. And that will take a while, so don't get discouraged. It really takes a while. So, um So, it also has physical aspects. It can help you in a physical way. So um, the man will like it if you have problems with your potency, you know, with your schnitzel. And as I said before, it can help your mental blockages that you have or mental health problems. And also, it's always good that <laughs> Shannon... Um, what was I? I read sperm and now I'm all thrown out. Um, yeah, and it helps you re regenerating if you have been sick, and it will help processing, like healing processing. It will support them, right? Sue, yes, I make it possible. 
probably every professional rune shaman is probably like, what is he talking about? So it's also a supportive rune for lovemaking rituals, but not. let's not get into that now. So, um, so with this rune, depending on what it tells you, it will actually tell you you have work to do outside and inside of yourself. Um, it confronts you with reflections, if anything is on, pending on the outside that you have to deal with. It raises a question, what needs to be questions and uncovered? So, but also the rune wants you to increase the power that you have waiting inside you. Um, so it tells you it's not the time to move forward yet to make decisions, right? Because you have to let go of the old first before you're able to proceed to step forward and make decisions. So, um, and hi, Stephopal. Love you, girl. Um, so, like for blockages, what you could do with this rune is um, imagine the thorn, like follow the thorn, follow the thorn going inside of you and see what is literally poking you, what is causing the pain, you know, ask yourself questions, whatever situation it is that you have in your life right now, and then see what really pokes you with a thorn, and then work with it. So, but again, if the rune is upside down, then be careful not to rush into making decisions. Like I said, it tells you to you know, let go, work on the old first, process all the things first before you approach new or if you make any decisions that you might regret later. So also with the increasing moon, um, like I like to work with the moon as well, right, as you know. Um, regardless of, yeah. Whatever, never mind. Um, so with the increasing moon, moon helps you to uh, protect yourself and um, attract luck. With a decreasing moon, don't even go there yet if you have no experience with runes. Do not. Because... Um, uh, once you activate it, it cannot really be stopped. So you really need really, really experience with this. Because if you say, okay, get everything out of my way, it will get everything out of your way. So don't, don't, don't do that yet. Um, yeah. So, and you can also, of course, wear, wear it as a protection amulet and it will also attract luck for you and happiness in love um yeah so that is pretty much it about the rune for now um like i said be cautious with this rune. It's very powerful. Don't muck around with it. Um, yeah. Take it for, you know, blockages. See what messages it's trying to give to you. And, um, yeah. But, like I said, don't use it yet to... Keep negative away because if you if you don't know how to steer that energy, you might keep away everything. I mean, not everything that is maybe negative is bad, right? Like I said, I don't. For me, there is no light and dark, and for me, there is no 
black magic and white magic, it's always what you make out of the energy. So you can turn negative energy into good energy. So, um, so therefore, if you use Thurisas to remove negative energy, it might be something that you need for your path, if I make any point here. Hey, IOX. Let's creak. <laughs> Inspirational. <laughs> and I just wanted to say I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, and and again, you can always ask me, right? And once um, I'm through with all the runes, which <laughs> we still have 21 to go. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Desert Rose, I will let you know when the donation arrived because Desert Road made a donation to me of $160 in the name of all of you for, you know, for doing what I do, even though I love what I do. <laughs> and, um, yeah, thank you so very, very much. So, um, and there's also someone else who donated something to me in the past, but I'm not allowed to mention the name. <laughs> um, but you know who you are. <laughs> So, yeah, that was very generous of Desert Rose. So, and like I said, she did it in the name of all of you. So, and I was pretty stunned by that because I never expect anything, right? So, that was a big one. So, <laughs> thank you so much again, Desert Rose. And she sent something else, but I can't say it because I just can't. It's a witch herb. <coughs> Glenn or Maureen, did they, did they pew, pew, pew again? I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say to that. That really just blew me away. So <laughs> thank you. Mwah. So, um, yeah, keep in mind, <laughs> love you too, Cynthia. Um, so keep in mind some of the runes you don't start to work with. So maybe that is not the first one. I just go, um, I just started with the first and then I go down the A tier that I explain later. And oh, thank you, Stefo <laughs> Were you talking of beautiful? I mean, hello. Have you taken a look in the mirror, girl? <laughs> so, and also along with every rune, there goes a tree, a herb, and a spirit animal. So along with that rune goes the bear. The bear is like the, um, the primal... Uh, the primal strength and um, it is a connection with a with the goddess so um, and what it says is in order to gain new strength like the bears do right they hibernate in the winter so um, and that what we can do we can hibernate in order to gain our strength. And sometimes we have to do that. I did that a few weeks ago. Um, not that I like literally hibernated, which would be nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, I kind of pulled back from everything and had to gain my own, stre my own strength back and I had to work on some own processes, right? So, or we go out in nature and we can gain our strength there because this is what Mother Earth does for us. And we're not the ones depending on, like, we are the ones depending on, I almost switched that one, oopsie. Like, we are the ones depending on Earth, on Mother Nature. She doesn't depend on us. If 
Now, I mentioned that many times before. If she has enough, she does a hiccup, and that was it, right? So um, that's why it's important to connect with that energy again that we missed. So when we need to trust our own instinct doing that, not from outside forces. Like we have it all. We all, each of us, we have magic. We have the abilities to connect to that energy. So, and we really need to get back to that because then once we connect with that energy in every level, only then we will understand. So, wow, that was deep, was it? Wow. <laughs> I hope you understood the word I mean. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't want an update. Go away. So, um, oh, shit, here we go. Sorry, cussing. <laughs> So also the bear is a protector of any shamanic work. That's where I actually wanted to go, of every witch work, of every kind of energy work. It can protect you. And, you know, sometimes, especially the women that get called mama bear, you know, I'm one of them. I can turn pretty nasty when it comes to my daughter. <laughs> like, I will chew your head off, literally. <laughs> so, and... So, and the message of the bear here is, it is good to move in waves through your own life and times of retreat and times of strength and stepping outside. Only through the change is it possible for you to reflect and purposefully take new steps in your life. So that way the bear goes with through us, right? It tells us the same. Bears have always been strong companions but also dreaded hunters. So you see how it, the compatibility with Thurisas? He wants to give you both attributes so that you powerfully and defensively represent you, your territory and your values, and consolidate your position. So in connection to the rune Thurisas, which matches all, um, the bear helps you to remove the thorn when it gets stuck. You know, when the bear has a rune stuck in his paw, it, it, it's painful. Or if you get a thorn stuck in your finger, it's painful. But only you can remove it, right? I mean, you can get help to have someone remove it. But mostly you do it yourself because you know how far you can move the thorn out without that it hurts more. So only you have the speed, like um, only you know how far you can push yourself to move out things that no longer serve you. Only you know, okay, I can go that far. Now I need to break, need to gain my strength. Okay, now I pull it a little further. You know what I mean? Does it make sense? So, um, then the tree that goes with it is the cypress. Cypress, do I say that right? Cypress? Well, I wrote it in my description. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wrote up a lot. But I have to write it down because I will forget half of it. So, you just need to listen to me read that now. So um, what the spirit of the plant well, is telling you or of that tree. So I only have the cypress today. Um, also the nettle go with, with thurias. Makes sense, right? It pokes, but it helps. But I talked about the nettle already last time and before that and before that. So <laughs> I'm not talking about the nettle today. So I'm talking um, about the... Cypress only because it also has a lot of medical benefits, so it's all covered. So, um, okay, the message is it, it has a message for you um, of limitation and severity comes from this plant spirit. 
it stands for immortality of the soul. I mean, that's why you find them also close to um, uh, cemeteries. Its message of moderation and virtue at the gate of idols advises us to weigh carefully and mindfully our steps in existential reality towards a higher goal. So again, this goes with the uh, uh, through this. You have a question, Lois, for me? For me, for me? A ask me. Ask me, ask me, ask me before I continue. Oh, I have that on top chat and not on live chat. Oh my God, I probably miss half of the fun here. Okay, okay, now I'm good. Okay. Okay, ask along, Lois. So that I don't miss it before I continue. You see, that's why I was wondering if I should maybe just uh, record um, the rune series so maybe it's easier to follow if I just keep talking, but then I miss you guys. Um, well, I think you should study the runes first. That's just my opinion, Louis. And and they shouldn't be used with other oracles because they're so like they're really their own individual energy that really doesn't go along with other oracle methods. That's what I find. So and um yeah, that's why I think maybe you know study them wisely, the runes, before you really work with them. I know. In the cards, they're mostly booklets and all, but still, I, I think you need to understand the runes very well. It just, I'm very anal with that, and I know I'm annoying with that too, <laughs> but it just really, I have a lot, a lot of respect of runes, and I worked with them, and that's why I'm saying that, because it bit me in the ass too, many times, until I learned. So, that's why, yeah, maybe study a bit more with them, you know, maybe, like I said, meditate with each individual rune. And then, yeah, don't use them along with others. Just use them single for themselves. And I find you can't really do collective reading with runes because the runes, they go really with a, yeah, with one energy. It's like hard to tell, you know, because they're so powerful, those like so straightforward it's hard to find to do collective readings with them do you know what i mean oh really stephopal made of old cypress oh nice yeah i, I love your house i saw it do you know what i mean louis it's not an attack. It's just I'm very anal with runes. So, um, yeah, that's what I find. My personal opinion just. Yeah. What I love, I got mine for. I'm still learning mine, but I don't know read the way others do. Yeah, that's what I mean. Butterfly kisses. Um, that's what I. That's why I'm always repeating myself with meditate with a rune, and it, you will receive the message. This is just the the main message the rune has that I'm talking about, but it might also sneak something else in. Right? I just mentioned like the most important points, and I said before there are different others, but this is like the most important. And and the best thing always is to connect with that energy. And if it doesn't work right away, like if you try to meditate with a rune, if you just blank, it's not you. It just, it needs training, like meditation needs training, like you need to learn to drive a car, you know? So, um, yeah, so, yeah, no. Yeah. 
where was I? Now I lost my thought. <laughs> let me let me grab it. <laughs> yeah, Desert Road. They, they tell it like it is, if you like it or not. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Are you working? Are you working? Yeah, kind of like it. Yeah. So but they mostly do. They mirror yourself. The runes are... That's how you can say it if you want to compare it with a crystal ball. They mirror yourself or the person you do the runes for, right? So. Yeah, the rune cards are awesome. And I like them. And, 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 and runes are awesome to read. It's just, uh, yeah. Like, get to know the runes. Like. You know, every day maybe one rune. And then again from the beginning. Like Niz, she has rune cards too. And she does a good job too. But uh, yeah, I think. I think she's doing readings too, right? Still, Niz, Anna, are you still here? Yeah, right, butterfly kisses. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, and that's what I did with the runes. Like I told you before, right? I did mine of yew tree because yew tree always attracted me. And there's Anna. This, this is still doing readings, right, with her um, rune cards. So, um, yeah, and yew tree. And I, I was just attracted to yew tree, but I had no idea what yew tree was. And then I thought it would be a cool thing to do my first rune set out of yew tree. And I had no freaky idea how powerful runes are or that the yew tree itself is powerful. So I was like all over the freaking universe the first time. Like, really. <laughs> so, yeah. So where was I? Um... You don't have to do a reversal. You know, you just do what feels right for you, really. Um, I don't do reversal either. Is it in, in tarot readings or is it with the runes? I don't do reversal. I will feel when it is a reversal. If my gut feeling tells me, okay, you got to read that as a reversal, you really got to read it as the way it came out, then I do it. So the... I mean, you, you do the right thing when you follow your instinct, your gut, when you follow the energy, you know, once you connect it, when your energy is connected with the runes or the cards, you will know. Yeah, and you don't have to do reversals, Louis, really. Like, if it feels right for you, then it's not a reversal, you know what I mean? That's how it works. So, um, let's go further on with the, um, if all questions are covered, I mean. No, I mean, depending on what it is, I might take a peek in the book, but I, I actually don't. To be honest, I don't read the cards. I don't read the cards. I read the energy of the person. And that's why it takes me sometimes a bit longer. Sue knows about that, <laughs> how long it takes me sometimes. <laughs> but And, and that's why um, it, I can't do it too much, too long when I do it. Because I connect with the energy and that's what I read. I mean, I have the cards, but I just connect it. If I make any sense, I don't make sense anymore. Are you gone again, Michael? You're working, right? Bye bye. Thanks for coming, Michael. So, um, yeah. 
So I think everybody has to do it the way it feels right for them, right? Like I, I take a peek in my book and like, especially if I have a new deck, like I read the book and there's nothing wrong with it. So, and I think the more you get to know your cards, the more you connect it with the energy, the better it flows. And then, then you just do, you know, what's good for you. I mean, not what good for, what's good for you, what's right for you, what feels right for you, how the energy feels for you. So, I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I peek in books. So, like that deck that I got from uh, um, Pamela back then, I had to read the booklet for a while because of all the symbols and I didn't know the cards. But by now I worked so much with them. I, I feel the energy, right? But you know what I mean. So, okay, the Cyprus. Um, uh, so where was I? So, oh, her mom is sick. Trisha's mom is sick. Oh. That's not good. Okay, Michael, we'll do. So, um, so the mental effect of the Cyprus is, um, it promotes self-confidence. Um, it raises your vibes for it. It gives you joy. And um, it stimulates body and mind. Uh, also, what the, the oil can do, the oil itself, Cypress oil, it, uh, it's, it, it's beneficial for the, uh, what's that called, dopamine? Dopamine? Uh, I should have written that down. Shit. But I think it's dopamine, you know, that lifts your mood. And um, so and in hectic and stressful times, the Cypress will help you to see the situation more clearly and to recognize. Oh, I was right. Woo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, dopamine. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was professional runic here so yeah it helps you um where was i shit it helps it helps it helps yeah it helps you in hectic and stressful times it helps you to see the situation more clearly that's why it works very well with furious furious and it will help you to recognize what's really important right Okay, Steph Opal, have a good night. Mwah. So, because sometimes um, when we're stressed or depressed or we're stuck in something and don't know what get, how to get out, we, we, we just can't see clearly anymore. We just, if we're depressed, uh, everything is shitty. We don't have the strength to get out. All we see is black and white. Like we can't focus anymore. So and 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 will mind absence, right? So it will help you to focus again better. It it helps you slowly to come out of this and take a peek. So um yeah, it helps you to bring back structure, right? So and yeah, like I said, if you're worried too much, you, you you get caught in your own thoughts. You worry and worry and worry. What if, what if, what if, what if, and what if? So, but Cyprus will help you to get out of that. So, um, also, the oil, it can help you for... Um, you know, painful loss of any kind that really, really makes you struggle. It helps you. 
Um, is it the loss of a loved one? Is it the end of a relationship where you thought you could never get over it? Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever really, you know, causes you grief to let go. Um, and it will help you to release, um, leave fear and worries behind. So, but with this scent and with this oil and with the spirit, it helps you. It, it guides you slowly out of that darkness, not too fast that you get all blinded. You know, when you come out of your depression, of your sadness, and then you're all like, whoa, that's the bright out here. I, I go back. See ya. So, but this one helps you slowly. Ricola. No, I don't have a screw loose. I just said hello, hello to Ransom. <laughs> just in case someone switched into the show and wondering what the hell is wrong with her. So, yeah, and it also gives you courage to, um, yeah, to go new ways. It will, you know. It help pulls you slowly out of your darkness where you're not supposed to be anymore, of course, and helps you. Hey, look at that. Doesn't that path over there looks beautiful, you know? So also, which I found interesting here, that's what I found. Um, and like I said, you find that a lot on um, cemeteries. And it was also because it helps you to mourn, right? Like I said before. So, yeah. And now the medical benefits of the cypress. That's a lot. The eagle has landed. That's the right word, Anna, okay? The eagle has landed. I repeat, the eagle has landed. Okay, let's go. <laughs> You're right, Glenn. You gotta wish it. So, the medical applications for the cypress is <laughs> um, it's for cold, it's antibacterial. And I'm just, I just wrote down the most important ones because it has like lots. So, so antibacterial, antiseptic, and it can be used for coughs, bronchitis, asthma, flu, fever, diarrhea, rheumatism, menstrual cramps. Don't we love them girls, right? Um, if your butt itches uh, for varicose veins and for badly healing wounds. And, and you can use um, um, you can use it you can use the branches the fruits and the wood. So you can use everything. So but um yeah, so you can make the tea out of it, you can make a tincture out of it, or just the oil to, to smell or to, you know, you can just pick a few branches, put them in oil, um, in, in a clo closed mason jar, and then you put it in hot water in a pot and let it simmer. Don't, don't, don't boil it, just heat it up slowly. Let it sit for a day, and then um, if you use the, the hot water method, you can do it a day. And then if you open it up, you know what I mean. The, the eccentric oils, they will get into the, into the oil. The eccentric oils of the plant will get into the oil, into your base oil. So, yes, amen. I got the sentence. <laughs> Yeah, 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 uh, that's correct. Yew tree is the anti-cancer tree, and also mistletoe is used also for um, cancer treatments. 
So U tree, uh, U tree and mistletoe, they both, even if you have cancer already, it stops um, multiplying the cells. Yeah, so that's the one. But you just want to use the homeopathic products. You don't want to uh, munch the needles or something. It's pretty poisonous. And the mistletoes. <laughs> yeah, and from mistletoe, um, it, like mistletoe is poisonous too, but if you soak, uh, soak it in cold water, it will drain out the toxins, but only in cold water. And I talked about that before in one of my shows somewhere past 1940 or something. Hey, the gray wolf. I'm almost wrapping up. <laughs> so, yeah, but, yeah, like for you tree, homeopathic products, like don't mess around with it. It's really toxic. <laughs> like people made spoons out of it, out of the wood, because they thought it's nice and funny. And it wasn't too, f the soup didn't taste so good after. So... <laughs> Yeah, you know, back then in the potato war, <laughs> that's how we say it in Germany. We call it the potato war. If you talk about a time you can't remember how long ago. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry. I'm just saying you missed it. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, not for the Highlander. Well, you can smudge the needles, right? I talked about that. But leave the windows open. Don't shove your face in it either. Like I do it for certain rituals. Like if I want to go downtown underground, if I go to the underworld, for example. But you really don't want to do that. And I shouldn't even mention that. Bad Anya, bad Anya. So... Yeah, but the but the berries, the flesh, you can eat from the yew tree, but only the flesh, not the stone. I mean, not the you know. That then then you're dead, like dead, dead, really dead. So yeah, but for cancer treatment, of course, I don't really use it for cancer treatment anymore these days. The yew tree because. It's probably too good, right? So, yeah. So, um, next I am planning on, um, whoa, I just felt an angry wave. Not me. Um, uh, like, I'm planning, like I said, to do a recording about the eight years that I mentioned before about the runes what they are and where they come from and why we're doing it the way we're doing it. And also I wanted to do one more time recording about the supplements and trees, uh, in, in plants and herbs, the ingredients, right? So I just wanted to explain more what the tannins are, what the eccentric oils are, what the bitter supplements are. I mean, I talked about it before live, but, um, yeah, I want to record it so everybody can listen, go back and listen to it, you know, so I want to make it a little um, easier to understand. Hey, Ian, what's my favorite show? What, TV-wise? TV-wise? Well, if I watch It's Norseman right now, it's freaking hilarious. So, yeah, I hope um, you could deal work with the, in you could not deal with the, inf yeah, no, deal with it. You got the information, I'll deal with it, will you? No, I mean, I hope you understood what I was trying to get to you, uh, give to you. Oh, my God, it, it, it's an hour, okay? Have mercy with the immigrant here. So. Um, yeah. Oh, my God, I have no eyebrows, but I do. I do have eyebrows. Okay, now I'm really squirreling. I think it's time. 
Ja, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it and you could understand what I was talking about pretty much. And um, yeah, I will be back next week with the next rune, the next tree, the next herb. And between that, like I said, I will do two uploads, but I'm not going to do live. And yeah, that was it for now. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say something that I forgot. No, I forgot. Oh, then it wasn't important, I guess. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I love you. Mwah. And Desert Rose, thank you again so very much for your generous donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, she did that in the name of all of you. Like, so that was very, very generous and very nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say more than thank you because there are literally no words. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, the gray wolf. <laughs> it's all good, brother. Don't worry. <laughs> Love you too, James, brother. Love you. Yeah, so, yeah, I love you all. And thank you, thank you so much for being here all the time with me and listening to me squirreling. And um, I will be back next week. Like I said, between, I will do two uploads. And just for the purpose of uh, better to understand and to follow and me being all over <laughs> the place. But I just can't. I can't. I can't do it. If I'm not by myself and just have my, you know, my notes, <laughs> then it's not happening. Me not squirreling. So, but you're used to that. <laughs> okay, you guys, you have a great evening wherever you are and um, or morning. You know, and if I missed anyone saying hello in the chat, I apologize. I didn't do that on purpose. And um, I love you. Blessed be. And peace out. <laughs>